Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey guys, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve. We're talking about Final Cut Pro and we're getting into the extremely exciting and sexy subject of backups. Backups. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited. It's one of my favorite You should things. be excited about backups because they could save your bacon sometimes. That's true, they're extremely important. Right. Extremely and, important. Well, let's talk about what's, let's back up. Okay. <laughs> What's motivating this discussion on backups? Well, we released a product back when 10.1 was released called 10.1 In-Depth. In-Depth, yes. But four hours. And we did our best to be accurate in four hours. Everything, but yeah. every now and then, this little inaccuracy uh, slip, <laughs> slips through. Yeah. Uh, publishers like to call that errata. Errata, uh-huh. It sounds kind of weird. But yes, I want to deal with a particular piece of errata in the, something I said in the 10.1 in depth. Let's go uh, for With it. regard to a backup. So okay. let's just talk about backups as a general principle. Backups will back up libraries. And now right now I'm in the, um, let me go ahead and zoom in here. I'm gonna just take a look at these libraries. A backup will back up these libraries here and it will back up the library itself, the database. It doesn't back up the media and it backs up every 15 minutes. And you set, without you doing anything. Without you doing anything. And you set that in preferences. If I go to preferences in general, you'll notice here that save library backups is already checked by default. Yeah. yeah. Without and you doing anything, it's just like you said. And it's a good idea to leave that checked, right? That's right. Now the question is, where is it putting these backups? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's putting them by default in the users movies folder. And I can show you this by choosing choose. And I'll come back to this choose in a moment. But for right now, just so you can see. Um, look at the, the path. It's in Mark Spencer Movies Final Cut Backups. Okay, so that's by where default, by default it puts them. Exactly. Okay. So um, that's something that you want to, to know because these backups are, well, it's happening every 15 minutes. And it's, here's the errata. Here's the, okay. what I want to correct. Okay. I said in the 10.1 in depth that it was library specific. So you, your backup would be to this particular library. But when. In terms in, of the location. In terms of the location, uh-huh. right. Inaccurate. It's actually backing up every library that's open into that one same backup, location. same location. Same location. Okay. Okay. And you can choose a different location if you want. Right. Yes, it doesn't you have could, to be there. Right. You can but choo- that's what choose is for. Well, yeah. So choose would mean I want all of my backups to be, let's say, stored on this drive right. here or on that Pegasus or what have you. Because it would probably be a good idea to have the backups of your library stored on a different drive than your actual libraries are located in case that drive That's a really, dies. that's a very good point that we didn't hit very hard in the 10.1. Mm-hmm. It's always a good idea to have your backups on a separate drive because if the, both the backups and your libraries go down, you're kind of, yeah. yeah and there's, they're, kind, there's, they're relatively small, right? Because it's basically a database of the library. It's not the actual, the actual media isn't being put in the lib- in that backup. No media is yeah. being copied, no boot. It's just it's So you just could choose, like, if you use Dropbox, you could, you could back up to Dropbox. You could. And that way you know you're safe because it's basically throwing it in the cloud mm-hmm. and, and you're, you're good to go. It's, it's great. Okay. So I'm going to zoom back out here. And I'm just going to go through the process of actually backing up. Um, opening a backup. So I, I have the cupcake library selected. So you'd, you'd want to do this if something ha- happened. Why would you want to open the backup? Like your, your media got corrupted or your, or your project media, corrupted? Something got or corrupted or, or, or let's say your crea- the, the, the current trajectory of your creative decision making is going horribly wrong. <laughs> And, and you just want to get back to an earlier iteration. Okay. And maybe you weren't making snapshots or duplicating projects you or whatever. Which you should be doing, making snapshots yeah. and duplicates. Yeah. But, but you for did. whatever reason, you just need to get back to like two days ago yeah. or what have it's, you. you. Undo is not going to get you there. Undo is not <laughs> going to get you there. Exactly. So I'm going to go to the file menu and choose open library from backup. From backup. That's okay. It. Just like that. Yep. And um, all the backups will be listed in this pop-up menu. And of course, I have two. And, and I said earlier that it's 15 minute intervals and you right. can't change, change that. It. It's okay. 15 minutes, that's, that's it, it's it fixed. It yeah. is what it is. But I could go back to 2.51 p.m. today if I wanted to. Yeah. And this is just, we did this relatively recently, so it just has a couple, exactly. but you'll see a whole bunch you in here. You can see a whole list. Now, okay. it's interesting, the Apple documentation isn't, this, what's, the, what's the one I'm looking for? It's not um, really explanatory about, when it, uh, about what backups are being ditched and when. But some are being ditched. Doesn't some are, yes. It okay. doesn't keep them forever. So it it says, purges. It just says basically basis. this, every few days it'll throw out 
older ones or something like that. So I, it gets a noise at all the clutter. Yeah. It's like my dad was growing when growing up. He just got annoyed with the clutter, went through the house, and started throwing stuff away. Yeah, I was just gonna say, oh, I know those those backups aren't important. This is gone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, if there, if you needed to save all your backups, I guess you can go into the backups folder and drop them to a you put know, them somewhere. Put them somewhere. But okay, okay, not really necessary. I don't think it's really necessary. But anyway, all I'm gonna do is pick pick an earlier time date stamp, and okay. I'm gonna go ahead and click open. And instantly, instantly, I'm gonna go zoom in. You'll see that, uh, a, now here's a key, it makes a copy of okay. the library that so, you're backing so the, up. So the backup, this backup is a totally separate instance of the library. It, it doesn't affect your current library at all. Not at all, it's a completely, in fact, look at the stamp. It's, it even tells you here, 2014, um, the, the month is January, the day is 24, and 1451 is the time of Pacific, that backup. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, and that's great because you can, in, by looking at it, you know right away that, that was, that's the backup library. Right, if you hover your mouse, it even tells you the path for where this particular uh, library is. So, so what you could do is, if you there's this particular project, you could take that project out of this backup and drag it into your project, Absol back into your absolutely. library. Absolutely, I can, I can go up to the project and say, maybe this is the version that I really want, yeah. and you can actually drag this into um, another into library. your original one, your original daily. Into the original daily. Yeah, okay. Library. And then close the backup, just grab well, that. Yeah, I'll make sure I can, I can yes, right you drive into the yeah. event, yes, so that's, you can definitely do okay. that. Okay. Um, so it, it's, it's good workflow. And one thing I'd like to point out though, when you are opening backups, notice the media immediately came back online. Right. This is, <laughs> it's not copying media, it's not moving media. Although, when if you do the go to the finder and do get info, on the backup, on the backup, it, yeah. it, it's ex sometimes the exact same size as your original library. Oh, so it, it seems to imply that the backup file contains your media. But it doesn't. But it you know doesn't. how it does it? It does it through the magic of... Hard links. Hard links. Hard links, So yeah. if you um, watched our 10.1 tutorial, you'll know yeah. all about hard links, yeah. and uh, you'll go, ah, yeah. ah, yeah. the magic of hard links. Okay. But, but the danger of that is you might assume that the media is in the backup, and if for some reason you lost all your media, I don't know, your hard drive died or you mm -hmm. did something, that, oh, I have a backup. You don't, right? right the, there's yeah. not going to be any media in the backup. The backup is of the database of all yeah. your edit decisions. Yeah, you got to be very, very careful uh -huh. about, you know, oh, I got the backup, I'm just going to trash it. Yeah. I, I can see that happening. Yeah. I can. So, something to keep aware. So, there it is. I've corrected some errata from 10.1 okay. in depth. Well, good for you for owning up to it and stretching yes. everybody straight so everybody yeah. knows the right thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, so, uh, if you want to know more about Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, DaVinci Resolve, you want to check out our plugins. Uh, RippleTraining.com. Follow us on Twitter at Ripple Training. Like us on Facebook, all that good social media stuff. Uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you, Steve, and thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.